People tend to have negative views when it comes to inner city high schools. And one of the things that really bothers me as an educator at an inner city high school and as a resident in this particular neighborhood is that we have students here that are doing great things, but no one is capturing that. In a city like Columbus, where there are great disparities between some schools where young people are served and other schools, that there may be a stigma attached to one versus the other at face value. A lot of people judge our school as one with students who don't care about their future, that we will never amount to anything. That's not who we are. Stempo up here, it's, it's that one force that defies all those. It defies all those kind of um, words you think of when you think of uh, Northland High School kids. First of all, we get students to come and buy into what we're doing. We recruit students to come and be a part of our family. We have a STEM family. They have such a great opportunity to meet engineers, to participate in competitions, to visit places that they've never been. And it, it opens their eyes to the possibilities. It opens their eyes to opportunities that other students aren't getting. If it was like a goal post in a football game. So the Northland High School STEM Club started in the winter of 2007, in January of 2007. I started with about seven students. And over the years, we've grown to we have had as many as 89 students at meetings. We average right now about 60 students at a meeting. We have speakers come in from different companies, and so they have an opportunity to see what's out there. It's our job to let our larger community know that we have outstanding students here. I work for an engineering company and designing mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems. And that got me interested in the STEM club because that's what they do. Honda's been uh, really big on promoting uh, not only STEM, but also diversity and uh, encouraging some of the less affluent schools to, uh, to really blossom into uh, STEM schools. Not only did we have an opportunity to serve the community, but we also had an opportunity to learn about ourselves by helping other people. If you need help in one class, you might not be good at that subject. Someone in STEM club is great at it. Everyone has their own unique talent or unique interest that they bring into STEM Club. And so like having four different teams to be on helps you figure out what you want to be in life. And so they have opportunities to do things they've never done before. Opportunities to go up against other high school students and compete in high level academic competitions. Some of the competitions we're involved in include VEX Robotics 1080, which is a racing car competition. We do trimathlon for all grades, and Nesby Junior Technical Explorers. I'm just so impressed by the work that they do as current students, and I'm even more impressed about their aspirations. I have big goals for myself, and honestly, I would have never picked engineering if it wasn't for Dr. Brown or even STEM Club. I wasn't thinking about engineering at all. I didn't really know anything about it, and now I want to be a biomedical engineer. And I found it almost as my calling to become a STEM educator, to come back to high school, to provide opportunities like Dr. Brown, because she's not going to do it forever. STEM Club has prepared me to succeed in any career that I may choose, and that's perfect for me because right now, I don't, I'm don't, i not really sure what I want to do, but I'm excited for my future. I didn't know about engineering before I was in STEM Club, and so once I came to STEM Club, Dr. Brown was like, you guys need to look at engineering, and so here I am, chemical engineering major. Look at yeah. that. That is awesome, <laughs> Alex. I want to ignite the genius in them to pursue something greater than maybe they perhaps had perceived earlier. She could see that I had a lot more potential than what I was given. And she was like the only one that was like pushing me to like just not giving up on me. She just wanted me to try my hardest. We underestimate our abilities sometimes. So it's great to have people like Dr. Brown that push you and say to you, you are gonna do something fantastic. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the gift of Dr. Sybil Brown. I want her to know that 
the investment that she's making in our young people will yield rewards that she'll never be able to count. So we're more than just a stereotype. We're more than just what people think of us. We're still able to succeed. We're still going to succeed. My future is built upon STEM Club because they've, they've guided me and they've showed me my passion. These kids in the STEM Club uh, just absolutely uh, give me hope. This is where the development is. I mean, this is where the, the learning happens. This is the kind of education that I hope my kids will have one day. If you want to invest in some positive young people, come to Northland High School and invest in our STEM club. You will have a great return on your investment. You will not regret it. And they will be such an asset to you. And even more so, you will have been a springboard to helping them to get some brilliant young people get to where they can be a positive impact on our society.